Hello, hello. Welcome to the Unboxable Unstoppable podcast with me, Elena Turley, founder of the Soul Mama Hub, S-O-U-L-M-A-M-A-H-U-B. Okay, now that the spelling is all done, thank you for that. I would like to share, first of all, it's raining. How beautiful is it when you can hear the rain outside and you're all warm inside? It's getting a bit wintry here in Sydney, which is really nice, actually. It reminds me of England and beautiful Bath where we used to live. But anyway, digressing. So I'm here today to share a little bit about the way that we can very, very simply take a little bit better care of ourselves and take a little bit more time for ourselves as busy women slash moms with the endless to-do list, the mother load of things in our minds that are always there, the mental load as we call it. Um, So one of the things about I find becoming a mother is that we do seem to assume a lot of roles, whether we're working or at home, um, we do seem to have a lot of responsibility. And I know for myself anyway that that can be sometimes quite overwhelming and maybe even a bit disheartening. I've I've made jokey posts about this before where I say, you know, um, imagine if motherhood was a job, what other job would you have your bosses allowed to watch you go to the toilet or sleep next to you or wake you up anytime, day or night or call you to wipe their bottom or get you to do every single thing that you could possibly think of for them, no matter what they feel or uh, how old they are, they can still sort of make demands on your time. And I mean, I can tell you that's true with my 17 year old as well. I love you. I love you, boy. But um, there are times when, you know, he can ask unruly things of me and it is hard to say no. It's really hard to say, no, actually, I want to do this thing for myself or I'm in the middle of this thing that I'm doing right now. And when we do, we can get that really bad case of the mum guilts. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have felt that before. So oh, it's all a bit much really, isn't it? And And when it all gets a bit too much, I guess what I'd like to know from you, and please do message me any old way you can or write a comment anywhere you find this or on my blog, I would absolutely love you to go and reflect on what it is you do for yourself. Even if you just write a little list to remind yourself, please take this action, do it for you and get clear on those little tools that you actually have at your disposal to save yourself from this endless thing. Because I know that in terms of just general mental health, and I'm I'm not talking about proper mental health issues. When we're talking about proper mental health issues, postnatal depression, medical depression, I mean, medically diagnosed depression, um, any other host of serious mental health issues. I'm not talking about that. Those things need professional help. Those things need possibly medication, um, at least natural medication and natural um, routines and rhythms in order to treat them. I'm I'm not advocating that these simple things are going to help you with those. I mean, they'll help, but they're not going to cure them. And there's certainly no long-term solution. So please, if those things are going on, definitely get some help. There's a lot of help out there. And I know you know how to find it. And if you don't, again, message me. I can send you in the right direction. And uh, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is the low-level kind of mental health issue that, that you can get when you've had five days straight of parenting on your own, say, or three years or seven years, which is what happened to me for a while. But um, if you are parenting on your own because maybe your partner's at work or away or you're a solo parent, there can be a really heavy feeling and it can feel like totally relentless. And I got to say, the fact that you have a beautiful home Maybe you have a gorgeous life. Maybe you had all of your children naturally without any fertility problems. Maybe you've got an amazing partner who's really available. None of those things preclude you from having a feeling. You are allowed to have a feeling, no matter how privileged you are. Now, I'm not saying don't be aware of your privilege. Please do. But um, what I'm saying is that no matter how privileged or underprivileged, we still have feelings. We're still human. And those feelings need space and need to be recognized and understood and acted upon at times, remedied at times. So what I'm talking about here is the way that we often undervalue in our culture what care really means. Care is something that 
a little bit like vulnerability. We, we often don't really rate it as anything important and yet it's something that we not only need but often have to enact and uh, carry out in our lives in a very quiet and unrecognised way. A lot of stuff that goes on between a parent and a child happens in private behind closed doors and that means that when you're having your most difficult moments, you can feel very alone and you can feel very unseen and unrecognized. So I'm here to say, I'm seeing you if that's you, and I'm feeling that if that's you, and you really aren't alone. And please, I would encourage you to please come and join us. We have a beautiful community with the Soul Mama Hub. I'm creating a membership as well, which you would have heard about a little bit. It's open till this Friday at a very cheap founding member price, so you can help me develop it. That's May 2021 if you're listening to this in future. If not, you can enter onto a wait list for the next time it opens. Please do message me. Please do have a look on socials at Soul Mama Hub because you do not have to do this alone. We actually do have people like me out there who really want to combine and and collaborate with you on this and do understand, like I understand some of the struggles you may encounter and I want to talk about it. I want to get together and help each other with it. So what I've done this week is rather than rant on forever, I'm going to just say, hey, babes, you can have a little moment to yourself and I'll give you a really easy way to do that. So this is episode four that you're listening to. Episode five, which I'm going to upload at the very same time, is a standalone recording, only three minutes long, of a really short meditation. Don't be scared. It doesn't require any skills or any prior experience of meditating. I'm just going to talk you through a really simple exercise to get you feeling a little more grounded and centered. So I do hope that you love it. If you do, please write me a review, share it with a friend, follow me on socials, whatever you can to support this thing because it's free and I do it for love and I do do it for love. I do love, love you guys and I do love sending you love and, uh, I do hope you're doing okay out there and uh, give yourself a few moments today to have a listen to that meditation and actually you can bookmark it and return to it whenever you need it. Every day, 10 times a day, doesn't matter. You can't do it too much. You might get a little sick of my voice though, but that's okay. So please, ladies, know that you're not doing this completely alone. There's a lot of us out there. Think of all the millions, bazillions of women out there mothering alongside you. And we are with you and us women, we got to stick together because you know what? It's so much better when we do. So um, please do enjoy the meditation. I hope you enjoy. I humbly send it out to you with all my love and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs> 